Hey, are we live? Yes, no, maybe so. Let's take a look. Are we live? Can any of y'all hear me in there? Okay, so I think we are live right now. This is only my second time doing this, folks, so bear with me a little bit here. I'm just trying to figure out if we're good to go or not. Yep, there we go. Alright, beautiful. And let me just make sure we're actually getting some sound here. This is only my second time doing this. Alright, awesome. Okay, so we're all set up here, folks. Welcome to the stream. We're going to be doing some writing today. Um, yes, this is the absolute insanity that is the writing page. Um, so today, I'm thinking, oh, what should we write today? That is the question. Well, this is going to be a shorter stream than last time, mostly because I'm exhausted from work. I just got off work maybe an hour and a half ago, and I got home maybe an hour ago. So <clears throat> we're going to keep this a little shorter today. Um, but first things first, we gotta decide what we want to write, because I did not think ahead in that regard. <laughs> so, um, we have a decision to make. So, we could write something from our Fire Emblem. We could go Two Sides of the Coin, which is our current Fire Emblem story. Problem is, I already have that chapter started, so all you all would be really seeing me do is finishing this thing up. Which, I don't know if you all really want to see me do that. If you want to see me try something from the very beginning. So that's one option. Option two we have here is... Oop, my bad. Option two. We can stay in the Fire Emblem and I can write ourselves a quick little... Uh, where is the folder for it? Do a little lost chapter, maybe. Figure something out in that regard. Or, we can go back into an Unexpected Companion. Or I can write something for Ripples in the Force, which I have here ready and waiting, it looks like. So, there is anyone in chat. Go ahead and give me your opinion on that. It's your choice. Um, I'll give it a couple minutes here. Otherwise, I think I might have to make a decision, which I'm never very good at. <laughs> I hope you all are doing well out there today. Here where I'm at, it is a blistering what is it, like 100-something degrees out right now? And 6 o'clock at night, so yeah, it is... Thank God for AC. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Looking at that. <laughs> Can I hear you, Red? I unfortunately cannot. I do not know why. Why can't I hear you? My output might be wrong. Hang on. Let's fix that real quick. What's my input? What's my output here? Hello, hello, testing one, two, one, two. Brand. All right, can you try speaking, Red? Why am I not capturing you here? Hmm. Strange. I'm trying to hear you, Red, but I, for some reason, can't hear. Do I have my thing turned up? Yeah, I do. All my audio should be good. Okay. Output is the one that's not working. Input's fine. Try that. You want to try talk? Uh, 
Hello. Okay, so he is talking, so let's try this then. All right, try again. What on earth? <laughs> well, it's picking you up there. I just can't hear you myself. It's picking you up and... Yeah, we'll try that. Okay. Hello, hello? Oh, no, we don't want you all seeing that. Nope, 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 nope. Oh. I don't know why I can't hear Red. I can tell he's in chat with me right now, but I don't know why I cannot hear him. I'm trying to figure it out really fast before we get going here. Um. Life is cruel. It's picking him up in OBS, so I think you all can hear him just fine. For some reason, I can't hear him, though. So I'm not exactly sure why. It has to be this way. How do you do, Flameless? How are you doing out there? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to get um, Red to chat with me here. For some reason, I can't hear a word he's saying. So, even though I'm pretty sure you, he's being picked up in OBS. Life. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so this is strange. I cannot hear a lick of what he's saying. Okay. I don't know why he can't, I can't hear him. So, which is going to make this rather difficult to do, so. It's too bad. It's too bad. <laughs> it's too bad. I'm technologically illiterate. Where's Storm when you need him? Um. <clears throat> I don't know why, because it's using it's using everything that I have set up from last time. Let's try uncheck marking that. I know I wouldn't be able to hear Storm either, but he could chat and walk me through what the hell's going on. <laughs> I am a Goomba. I agree. Fuck I absolutely you. agree. Be careful, Red. <laughs> so I don't know why I can't hear you right now. What I might do is I might disconnect my headphones really fast and reconnect them, see if that does anything. Because it could just be my own settings here. Let's take a look. No, Red, I'm pretty sure you're not muted. I wouldn't mute you, buddy. No, you're not muted. I'm going to disconnect my headphones really fast and try reconnecting them, so give me one moment. We'll see if that works. Okay, testing one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Life is unfair. Well, obviously you can hear me. I still can't hear you. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, let's see. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to heckle him. Well, the at the very chat. least, Red, you can communicate with me in chat at least, and I can see that. 
at the very least. I don't know why I'm not hearing you at all. It makes zero sense to me. So, yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Pressing the button and doing the other thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've pressed a lot of buttons, but the problem is if I press too many buttons, something could go wrong. I could try re-putting in the output, I suppose. Let's try that. So, Red, I'm going to silence you in OBS really fast. Okay, so we're going to add audio output. Okay, and we're going to use the headset. Okay, try talking, buddy. Let's try that. All right, try talking now. Okay, it is really not working now. What the hell? Life is too hard. Oh, you're there. You're talking, but I can see you're talking, but I can't hear you still. Ugh, this is frustrating. Everything's active. Everything's working just fine. I don't get it. I don't get it, bud. Nothing like spending the first 10 minutes of a stream with technical difficulties. For those out there who are watching, I apologize. I am just not exactly good at this yet. So. Oh, well. We can't delay this forever, unfortunately, and I'm not, I can, unfortunately can't keep us waiting because I don't know how to work technology. So, Red, if you want to heckle me, go ahead and do so in the chat because I'll be able to see that at least. Um, so, we are going to get to writing. So, since I didn't hear any takers from the crowd on what we should be writing here, we are going to go ahead and I think. I think we'll do some ripples in the force today. I think we'll go Star Wars today. So this will be ripples in the force chapter five. So we're going to outline it because you know what? We're going to be respectable on stream. At least we won't be complete chaos. There we go. So we need to figure out what exactly we're doing here with ripples chapter five. Yep, Discord being Discord, exactly, Lucia. Uh, you gotta love it. So, <laughs> well, thank you for the winning emoji, at least there, Red. Um, <laughs> so, we're gonna be doing Ripples Chapter Five today. So, in Ripples Chapter Four, what happened was Anakin and got his first experience of the Imperial Senate, or not the Imperial Senate, but the Galactic Senate, um, or the Republic Senate. So. Dooku brought him in basically to show him around, show him what's going on, and give him a little lesson of politicians aren't to be trusted in just because you think they're good people. Um, which could be a pretty important point for Anakin, knowing what we know in canon. Uh, for those of you who haven't read this fic yet, what Ripples in the Force is, is me basically acting like the Jedi Council were actually a bunch of responsible adults. <laughs> so instead of them giving the most challenging Padawan they've ever seen to a newly minted Jedi Knight. Um, we're going... To, oh, don't worry, Flameless. There's nothing too major in it. I'm not going to do major spoilers. I'm just briefly recapping. Um, just to get my own thoughts on it a little bit, too. Because... For, so, for now, we're going... Or you can go read it really fast. Not like it's a very long one. <laughs> um... So, but basically, Rebels in the Force is, what if the Jedi Council decided to give Anakin to an actual Jedi Master? And in this case, they decided to do a halvesy on Qui-Gon's last wish of having him trained by someone Qui-Gon trusted. Qui-Gon wanted him to be trained by Obi-Wan, but the Council's like, obviously he wants Anakin to be trained by someone he trusts, so we're going to give him to Qui-Gon's Master, Dooku. 
So this makes for very, very fun and interesting character interactions. So let's outline this right now. So we just had some fun in the Galactic Senate. So now we got to figure out what we want to do next with this. Hmm. So we got to figure out where we are going with this chapter. Because one of the big things we want to do is we want to make sure this chapter isn't just filler. I'm trying to go by the moniker of less filler, more killer. Uh, which is something Storm writes with, it's something Red writes with, and it's something that I very much struggle with when it comes to writing personally. So, because I have snail pacing when I write, and that means my stories take forever to go. That's why I read from start one for almost a million words. <laughs> so, <clears throat> we need to figure out our characters for this first. So we'll start with that. We'll start with figuring out our main characters in this. Now, obviously, our main characters are going to be we're going to be doing Dooku, Anakin. Now, do we want to throw a third character in here? Do we want to get spicy with this at all? Hmm. I think we will hold off on that, and we will wait to see what exactly we are planning for this chapter. Now, the setting, we're going to set this in the Jedi Temple. Because right now, that's what's going on. But we're specifically in the Jedi Temple. Do we want to show Anakin doing some sparring for the first time? Maybe with Dooku observing. That could be a possibility. Maybe we go with that. We could write a scene like that and see how it fits in, since this is going to be a shorter stream anyways. So I think that's what we might end up doing. Yeah, I think that's what we will end up doing here. So we will just, we are only going to write a f one full scene likely today, because I got to get up for dinner eventually. <laughs> Alright, so we will put it in Jedi training room, specifically. <clears throat> so our scenes so this is where we're going to get into the little meat of what we're going to be putting together so we've established all the way back in chapter 3 <clears throat> that Duke was beyond teaching Anakin how to use a lightsaber so we're going to be doing some Anakin sparring with another Padawan now we need to figure out who this other Padawan is going to be now the problem is there isn't a whole lot of Padawans ever mentioned that are Anakin's age, except for one. I know of one, actually. Uh, how many of you, fellow Star Wars fan, remembers this name? This is an old EU name there, Ferris Allen. He was a Padawan of about Anakin's age, around the time of the... I think he was actually maybe two or three young, years younger than Anakin, so he's probably about six or seven years old around this time in Ripples of the Force. Um, gifted Padawan, uh, still learning how to, still learning his thing. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, or we could make. Mm, this is tough. I think we'll go with this. We'll give Anakin an actual rival. And it'll be a, a Legends character in Ferris Allen. I don't know if they've made Ferris Allen canon yet. But we'll make him... We'll go with the Legends character here. So Dooku's going to be observing this. So this is all going to be from Dooku's gonna, point of view. As to... So he will be the main POV of all this. So we're going to get Dooku's insight into how he sees Anakin fighting, his tendencies... As well as Ferris Allen's tendencies. And we might have to do a quick little amount of research here into into Wikipedia here. So We're going to go into Wikipedia real quick here, just to give ourselves a little refresher. Oh, so she he was Siri Tachi's Padawan. Ooh. I forgot about that. Well, that could be very fun. Okay. All right. So give ourselves a brief refresher here. Because it's been a very long time since I've read the books that he was the main character of. 
think I read those books back in middle school, maybe beginning of high school. Mm, trying to remember how what his temperament was like. So that is an important thing to look at, his temperament and how exactly he fights and all of that fun stuff. Okay, so he resigned from the Jedi just before the Clone Wars, too. Good to know. So we have very much an... A maverick of sorts, I suppose. <laughs> and him and Anakin never got along. I do remember that. I remember that very well. Unfortunately, Wikipedia isn't giving me much information when it comes to his fighting style. But I'm going to guess he mirrored Siri Tachi. So we're going to look into Siri Tachi really fast. And see how exactly, sh what kind of fighter she was. What form of combat she did. She was a Taru. Okay, so that means Ferris is likely a Taru as well. We'll triple check really fast. Oh, Adi Gallia was her master. Interesting. Okay. Oh, there we go. Powers and abilities. Okay, so he's definitely... Ferrisson is definitely going to be our rival character here. Shien, with a heavy emphasis on Ataru. Okay. Interesting. Good to know. All right. So I think we got enough information about him there. So now we are going to figure out. So for now, we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to start with that scene. We're going to try and get some momentum going here. So we will start with that. We're going to just keep it pretty bare bones simple here for now. I definitely don't outline every time red. You know that. I'm trying to be better about it. <laughs> hmm. So what should we title this chapter? We'll leave it untitled for now. I don't plan on publishing this one today. I think we'll just be getting the scene going here. So this is definitely from Dooku's point of view. Maybe we start mid-thing and we have him doing his usual sharp and semi-smug education bits a little bit. That could be fun. I think that's what we will do.
<laughs> All right, so we got this started here. No, we're going to go for a little more impact here. There we go. Are we doing okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Are we still doing okay in there, Chad? I know I'm. I got to get better at ha holding conversations while I write. I usually get pretty focused when I get into the zone a little bit. I suppose.
<laughs> Hello, Tumor. How are you doing? This is a Star Wars fan fiction that I've been working on for a little bit now. This is the fifth chapter. Uh, we did a little bit of outlining here, as you can see, but we're only aiming for one scene tonight before calling it a day, I think. Um, the premise of this is, what if Anakin was trained by Count Dooku when Dooku was still a Jedi Master? So, it's been very fun to write so far. It, it makes for a very interesting clash of characters here. So we are getting Dooku dressing down his apprentice a little bit. One of the things I'm playing on is Dooku is, if I recall correctly, I believe I am correct on this, he is known for having a bit of a short temper. Or not necessarily a short temper, but low patience for stupidity. We see that quite a bit in the Clone Wars. We see that a bit in the movies. Is that he is a very stern man, a very demanding one. Even as a Jedi Master, that is still there. So that sort of character trait doesn't necessarily leave you or leave you, despite the environment, I should say. At least I don't think it does. It's one of his defining features is that he can be incredibly charming, that he can be incredibly smug, and that he is very demanding of his students. So we're playing on that a little bit here. Um, if you notice, as we are writing this, um, we aren't, we never really focused much on the actual movements of the, of the lightsabers between Ferris and Anakin. Why? Well, because that is not the focus of Dooku, necessarily. He's observing them, but at the same time, we as the audience are seeing things through his eyes, and what we are seeing isn't, we don't want to focus too much on the technicalities of the fight as much as how it's making Dooku feel at the moment. And what he is feeling is frustration, disappointment, and more than a little bit of dismay at how ridiculous these two Padawans looked as they sparred each other. And we're going to see him go in-depth on their technique so that it comes across as a teaching moment. Where not only are these two Padawans being taught, but Dooku in a way is also teaching the audience a little bit. So it's a little more...
I am terribly sorry for getting cut off there, guys. I just got a text from my mom, and it's, uh... I might have to cut the stream off here, folks. I apologize. I just got a... Yeah, I just got a message from my mom. It's a bit personal in nature. So I am going to have to cut off the stream here. I am... I deeply apologize for how short this one was, folks, but this is a little bit of a family thingy that is a bit rough. So I'm going to pause it here um, because my stepfather's getting me right now, and so is my mom. So, uh, yeah, we, a very good friend of ours has um, just passed. So I'm going to step off for now and... Um, hopefully this weekend I can get back in and stream something that way, um, something a little more substantive. Just this, this news literally just hit me out of nowhere and it's completely derailed the writing train. So I'm going to head on upstairs and, um, process with the fam a little bit. So thank you all for joining me right now. Um, I wish I could have done more. Unfortunately, life seems it's gotten in the way a little bit. So I'm going to sign off for now. We at least got a little bit done, and hopefully next time we don't have as many technical difficulties. So thank you all for joining me, and I wish you all a great day.